it really was started without a plan. Like, we're just gonna have somewhere to skate. That was the plan. We stole wood, we all put money together. It was like, whatever we had to do. And he decided to open this park up when skateboarding was dead. People know the skate park in Tampa is real skateboarding. I've seen every pro in the history of skateboarding skate that place. It's fun, you know what I mean? And it's just like, you have to stay in a, a hotel where you like flip over your pillow and there's a hooker's weave under it. That's just part of the experience. I mean, legendary moments is like, the loop is obviously one of the most legendary moments. I'm doing the loop! Yeah, I am. I'm doing the loop. Take your swim. The captain either sails away with his ship or goes straight to the bottom of the ocean. It's like we were the first ones to have a loop that was open to the public. We were like, fuck it. Let's just build one and let anyone try it, which is, was really a bad idea in hindsight. It's like getting shot out of a cannon. Better company up there. Uh, we're all talking each other through it. Yo, uh, and they stand on the wall. Yeah. It's all Look one back. movement. You can pump this, but then the next one you gotta just let it ride. First guy to make the loop was Kyle Hartman. The most exciting thing I've ever seen is the spice to knowledge. <laughs> Jake Brown was, was a great one to, to know that he did it. And once again, I, I didn't even get to see anybody complete it, but I guess I was too busy running the contest. I had to come out there with pads and just go for it and join the session. So Bob started trying to loop the switch. And right after that, so was Peter. Peter ended up knocked down on the side of the loop. Everyone kind of was, was a little bit scared. And uh, Peter was okay. He got taken away by the ambulance. Peter would love for us to keep going. Oh, he, he's okay, right? I'll never do this again. I'll never do it again until either I get served up or, or make it. I don't know. It's impossible. scary on once again dead silence um, he didn't move blood blood on the ramp the women were hysterical crying it was pretty trying for everybody I don't like seeing my buddies get hurt you know sometimes you wonder why we do it fortunately uh, uh, I walk away with just a few metacarpals broken I spent a night in the hospital and a week sleeping overall I'm very fortunate we need to take advantage of life a little more and appreciate it. I told everyone to go back in the skate park and we just give the awards out, but um, that wasn't enough for Bob Burnquist. Oh, you want to go again? Yeah, yeah, I do. Got it. So this is pretty crazy. I mean, we got Bob up here. He's going to do the loop switch right now. It's insane. When Bob's focused, there's not really anything stopping him, you know. He's just going to do whatever he wants, really. have the infamous skate park of Tampa street course that provides the battling ground. There's been 18 Tampa pros or whatever, uh, 17 Tampa Ams. The Tampa Am, it's a place that everybody wants to be. Kids come from Japan, Australia. It's one of the best contests because it's just so fun and you can skate with all the guys. You get to see people that you wouldn't see normally all in one place. If you do good, maybe turn pro, you never know, man. It probably is the biggest contest for an amp. I don't know why Tampa. The best trick contest is chaos. Uh, everybody goes at the same time. It's like a joust. Boom, you're gone. Forget about it. Then I saw the waves come down. They came from all around. They said I'm better 
better than you. The pro contest is insane. The new pros, the old pros, the industry is here every year. I've seen every pro in the history of skateboarding skate that place. Bill Shaw, Wade Spire, best trick contest. So they were doing transfers off quarter pipe, Smith grinds, and that made like the whole skate park wall shake by the roaring crowd. It's a skateboarders contest. Everybody's rubbing elbows with Costin and Trujillo and Uznitz because we don't have any VIP shit here. It's more true to skateboarding than any of those other other events. It's like you go to all these events around the world, there's bigger money to be won, you know, more exposure maybe, but Tampa was like the family reunion almost. Like. Everybody talks shit about the place or in Tampa, oh I hate going down there, it's so hot, and, oh I'm never going back there. Well you talk to those people and guess what? They're back here the next year. Let's give it up for local boy, Mr. Mike Frazier. Yeah, he's the icon of, of the skate park in Tampa, absolutely. Like, he was at the skate park in Tampa every single day, you know? Like, skated faster than anybody. I could take his, his trucks and push them into a wheel bite with my pinky. Lander slam, and gnarly, it's just, just when he goes to disaster, you know, he's just gonna break down the ramp. I don't know how, but I still have a key to the gate from, like, 15 years ago. <laughs> Like, I come here and just open it up and walk through and kids are looking at me like, who the fuck is this guy? One person I have to point out is like Josh Stewart in the rising videos and static videos, and like focusing on guys like Frazier, Zitzer, Howard, and then like other locals that come from the Tampa area. Monks wander as a protest to living for the industry. The same could be said. Like I was the one guy in Florida filming, you know what I mean? My parents had like VHSC camcorder where you put the little VHS tape in. Paul and, and Frazier, you know, needed footage for their sponsors, so just by default I started filming Vert with them. This place has brought up so many different groups of kids and and, and it's from Brian and Ryan, you know. Maybe it has something to do with Skate Park in Tampa, but at least we gave them somewhere to skate on a regular basis. There's an experience that you have when you come to Skate Park in Tampa that I can't pinpoint that is different from other places. A true backyard session that is continuously running. There's just so many pieces that keep the history going and adding to it, but most of all, it's the support from within the industry, the skateboarders. Our goal is like, you leave Skate Park of Tampa with a smile on your face, wanting more of the experience. I'm confident that if we keep changing things like we do, and changing with the times, and, and always focusing on how to make it better, and most of all, fun, we'll hope to be in business, you know, forever. 93 till infinity. I'm sweating my balls off out here right now. Skate Park in Tampa definitely saved this area as far as skateboarding for the kids around here for sure.